Are you taking notes? I've got on what Mr. I'm, Mom on is down. <laughs> you just avoid all of the housework part yeah. of the Mr. Mom. <laughs> I got Mr. Mom and down. Hey, welcome on back. You, me, and the movies. Tonight, it's another special request. Special request. Christy and Patrick. Coming hot. With Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. Yeah. Starring Michael Keaton, an 80s comedy classic, the movie that made people be like, why is this guy going to play Batman? He's Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. Sweet. Mr. Mom. And uh, their shout out this month, Christy and Patrick's shout out, is uh, this is for all the stay-at-home mom and dads. Oh, that's nice. Like me. Just like you. I'm a stay-at-home dad. So great. So. So great. Thank you, Christy and Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. And Thanks, as always, for supporting the channel and hanging out with us. Now, this is an odd one. You've never seen it. I know. it's an 80s comedy. Yeah, I. this is one that I should have seen. I just never did for some reason. I think I, it, probably because I get this one confused with the Diane Keaton one, where she's a new mom. Stepmoms? No. What? She's not that. <laughs> or she's like a new mom and like moves sure to the country. Are you thinking of Diane Lane? No. Diane Keaton. And makes like her own baby food. I think I always thought this movie was that movie, and that I've seen that movie. You thought Diane Keaton was Mr. Mom. Well, now I can't think of <laughs> what the name of that movie is. Okay. I'm not even sure if I've seen Mr. Mom. I don't think I have. See, it might just be one of those movies yeah, It might have been missed. something I watched when I was little, and I don't remember. So. Could be. Yeah. Either way, we're watching it tonight, and I'm excited about it because I, I really love Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael Keaton, Diane Keaton. That's probably where the confusion happened. It's Keaton. It's a Keaton. One okay. of the Keatons. Whew. Wow. Well, are you ready to jump in and check out Mr. Mom? Ready for a little laugh, yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us, because we're cool. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below if you want to make a special request like Christy and Patrick, or if you want full-length commentary, access to polls, help us pick where we watch next, or early access to our videos. Link's down below. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you like Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us at You Me The Movies and uh, see what's going on there. Yeah. Let's watch Mr. Mom. Here we go. Oh, Aaron Spelling. That's uh, Tori Spelling's dad. Good call. Yeah, good call. This song seems like a TV show intro, though. It sure does. <laughs> Very Aaron Spelling like. Six oh nine. Who sets their alarm for six oh nine? It's probably the second snooze. Oh, the first snooze maybe, because I guess that's when or my they hit it at six my, and then snoozed it to six oh nine. Yeah, that's when my alarm clock goes off after I hit snooze on my six o'clock alarm. I guess. I don't know who made nine minutes the universal snooze time. Right, but it is. That is bizarre. The ten minutes is just too long. It's probably science, right? Ten minutes, you fall back asleep. Oh, well, you're right. It might be. Yeah. Nine minutes. Anyone know? Just enough time. Anyone you know? You get a little bit more sleep, <laughs> but not go, uh, dead to the world. Jenny. Okay, but don't touch his wobie. It's going to be a beautiful day in Detroit today. Weatherman says we're going it's to... It's a cool car bed. We should get one of those. Totally. <laughs> Burton Ernie Slippers. Classic. Pants are still on, sir. I don't think he meant to. <laughs> How are you? How did you sleep? Hmm? Should we go get daddy? Where'd she get the bottle? <laughs> Chugging it all night. <laughs> well, it's a John Hughes film, too. I love John Hughes movies. Ah, thanks. Don't change a thing. Leave that face exactly like that, all right? I don't want it washed by the time I come home, because it looks great. Christopher... <laughs> 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 uh. Works for Lloyd. Yeah. Uh, Tremblay? What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, that, that guy. From Arrested Jeffrey. Development. Yeah. Jeffrey? Yeah. 
I like splitting gas money four ways. There's <laughs> <laughs> always money in the banana stand. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> What's the matter, boys? You look a little depressed. You worried about the Lions? They're slow starters. Don't worry, it's preseason. Lions are a slow starting franchise. They still haven't won the Super Bowl since this movie. You know, me and my wife went to the movies the other night. We saw Rocky. And I'm watching this movie and I'm thinking... Well, no, it's no spoilers. No spoilers. I mean, you gotta hang tough. I don't... I don't know. He's nailing that pep talk. <laughs> you should have just gave him a yo. Why didn't you tell me this morning I was being canned? Middle management, they're all getting canned, huh? Oh man, after the devotion they gave you, you're fired too. Now, you're fired. I'm, I'm fired? You son of a no! Yes, that's what. Christ. Gas money? Great. So I have one more thing I want, Mr. Disability! Oh, they're engineers. It's all right. In a couple years, he'll invent a time machine. He'll be set for life. That's good. Step two. Hop two, three, four. That's it. Oh, look at how cute they are. What do y'all have dates or something? <laughs> Heard you got fired. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. What are we having? Colonel Chicken. Yay! We can't afford that. Let's enjoy it. Maybe I'll last. <laughs> Love Colonel Chicken. Me too. Be good. This is a good idea. We'll make it a contest. What? It'll be fun. I'll bet you a hundred to one. Oh. You don't get a job before I do. Okay. Well, that's rude. <laughs> no, he's just competitive. Alex, Kenny, come here. How would you know it's coming out of my severance pay too? You just want to make her feel bad about herself? Or me, Kenny, hold the money. I better hold it, Dad. Money makes him crazy. Good point. <laughs> Money makes everybody crazy. Oh, 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 I'm gonna be late. My first day, I want to make a very good impression. How do I look? She a flight attendant? I think the outfit's cute for the 80s. That means it's she time for her nap. There. Don't let her sleep past 11 minutes because then she won't go down for her afternoon nap, which is at 1 o'clock. Okay. Two naps? Yeah, our kids took two naps too. Just, just not maybe did. Maybe didn't at all. Oh no. Why are they all honking? Because you're doing it wrong. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. I know how to do this. Hi, Jack. I'm a nag. Hi. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Time to drop off, moron! <laughs> Moms can be brutal. Ah. You're telling me. <laughs> we go in here. Let me give you some advice. Keep your mouth shut and your ears open, and you just might learn something. No, she's not threatened at all, huh? Is her boss John Hamm or something? <laughs> Everybody, uh, please welcome Carolyn Butler. Uh, all right, I can't. We got Bob Ross in the room there. No, lie to him. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> See, Bob Ross? Well, frankly, none of this stuff would influence me, all right? Then what would? <laughs> when was the last time any of you people were in a supermarket? <laughs> She's going to knock it out of the park and make a great tuna ad. I can just feel it. No, for sure. Sorry. Here. Settle out of court. <laughs> oh, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> the supermarket's that busy. I'm out. Yeah. Not interested. Uh, give me a half pound of salami. Italian, kosher, hard pork, beef, cotto, or what? Uh, I'll tell you what, just give me, give me a quarter pound of cheese. American <laughs> family. Can you run the uh, hams oh, back one more yeah. time? Just, I just oh, want to... Oh, oh, I don't think I've ever been in a grocery store that's ever been this busy. No kidding, right? <laughs> It was the Reagan years. Everybody was shopping. Sorry, Let me check. Are these Kojak's Maxi Pads on special? Never mind, Derek. Sorry, forget it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, Ken. 
Not his kids. Kenny! Meanwhile, you left your baby. Hey, I'll trade you. My kid for yours. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have any kids! Oh, God. Do you see my little girl? Yeah, she's adorable. She's lost. How did she get out by herself? Daisy, oh. baby. She's yours, and I'm Joan. Hi, thanks. And Carolyn told me you'd be around. Yeah. Can I give you might even be the toughest job in the entire world. Bends your back, it drives you nuts, and it makes your boobs droop. So. <laughs> and I can help with sitters and shopping and menus, and even if you just want to talk. No, oh, she's hitting on him. Thought that was her wife, his wife's friend. Yeah. Women are crazy. I live with four of them right now. <laughs> yeah, you do. You don't have to go to the grocery store, though, so. I don't allow it for that reason. <laughs> You'd have to kick all the women off of you, Jeez. you know? <laughs> Fighting them off me. <laughs> Every time I go to Walmart. With that mustache, you just Albertson. have to be like, no, get it, get away. We can't believe it here, huh? None of us can. We're stunned. <laughs> His slippers are fun. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't want his feet to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> There's also nothing cuter than little baby buns, right? Mm -hmm. Little tiny baby buns are so cute. Well, hello down there. Why don't you run? He's gone. <laughs> Got a beer? Seven o'clock in the morning. Scotch? <laughs> <sighs> Very nice outfit, honey. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, if you call and I'm not here, I'll be at the gym or at the gun club. <laughs> Same place as I go every day. But you know, I think you've got two things going for you. Number one, your experience as a homemaker. Your I thought he was going to say your boobs. Two things going for you. And number two, you've got a... Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> As a woman, in my career, as an executive, he supports me. And if we can agree that you are an executive. She's cutting his steak. She's been a mom for like eight years now. <laughs> are you taking notes? I've got on what Mr. I'm, Mom is down. <laughs> you just avoid all of the housework part yeah. of the Mr. Mom. <laughs> Mr. Mom and down. Uh, I don't think we can fit anymore. Sure we can. That's, you get some more in there. I know how much to put in a washing machine before it's too much. <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 wait too much. <laughs> oh no. You've never put it all together? <laughs> it's gonna turn into like concrete and. <laughs> Butler? Hi. You got a problem with your horizontal hold? I don't know. Your wife says you do. Well, yeah, she has. <laughs> I'm very bad. I get 45 bucks an hour! Damn, that's a lot of money. Should be a TV repairman. Or woman. Mom calls a vacuum cleaner Jaws? Yeah. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old Kirby. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Anything wrong? No, no, fine. Fine. All the repairmen came in the same I know, day. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. gonna have some hot shards <laughs> holy back oh, <laughs> gotta do more laundry now <laughs> well I'm glad somebody had a good day <laughs> if she only knew I'd sure like to have a copy of that when I come back. Yeah. Sure. It, okay. you know, drink all the excess fat. A few Mr. Moms out there, huh? Okay, fair enough. But if we stay longer than that, we pull the old Aunt Emily. Okay, the Aunt Emily, right. You're bringing the kids? <laughs> Not this one. His great-grandfather, Commander Richardson, built it. I feel like I've seen this house before in a movie. Tony Spelling's house? Or... Tony Spelling? <laughs> yeah, Aaron Spelling's brother. <laughs> Must be Tony's. <laughs> oh man, you got me in one of those competitions. Oh, we'd sweep it, right? Yeah. Oh man. I don't know. Oh come on, nobody takes it seriously. It's just good, clean fun. No, everybody takes it seriously. Yeah. Carolyn's Aunt Emily, she's sick, dying, and you're dead. She died three years ago. Church of Fire, huh? It's a lot like Revenge of the Nerds. You remember those things? I used to love playing on those things. Remember when we swept Cousins Olympics that mm -hmm. year? That was the best. And they had to cancel it every year afterward. They were yeah. tired of losing. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Winning. What a good wife. She doesn't care. She's like, he's winning. It's good. Oh, she might care. Swallowed his pride for his wife. You threw it, didn't you? You did good, Dad. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you one, Jack. <laughs> Smart move. He knew he'd won. Yeah. Let the boss get the trophy. If I were boss, I would be pissed if people yeah. let me win. Next time your uh, place of work has uh, the Olympics, you gotta sign me up. You got it. I'll win it for you. <laughs> I'll win it for myself. It's about time he grew the Mr. Mom beard. <laughs> I can't believe people actually watch this stuff. Is it the end of the restless? <laughs> Something like that. Some sort of soap. He's pushing it under the bed. I've got a stake in this kid. And I'm gonna stick her that he's okay. There you go. What you're really interested in is the baby, huh? The baby's more important than Carolyn. That's right. My own flesh and blood. <laughs> Is it Kevin's baby? We're not sure. Kevin's a skunk. Kevin gets all the girls. You sure got Nikki? To like summer break or something? I had one of those Viking hats when I was growing up. Uh oh. That's a serious poker. <laughs> Oh, my dog wouldn't eat him. I love him. I do. <laughs> you ever play coupon poker? Never. Mm -mm. Yeah. Joan, come on. <sighs> you could have waited until 4 
You're not going to take your kids with you? She might not have kids. <laughs> she didn't at the grocery store. My brain is like oatmeal. I yelled at Kenny today for coloring outside the lines. Megan and I are starting to watch the same TV shows, and I'm liking them. <laughs> <laughs> they must have had Coco Melon in the 80s, too. <laughs> Victor's still on the young and the restless, right? It's like the old and the geriatric now. It's a, it's a daydream. As as I could. You sure did. He's been watching too much Young and the Restless. C Carolyn hates the beard. I know. Oh no. I've thought of the kids. The kids won't hear a thing. Say <laughs> goodbye, darling. I love the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he misses Mark. There you go. Got it. Couldn't hold on, could you, Jack? Tamper. Jeffrey Tamper. Yeah? Is that it? What'd you use, a 38? Uh, 38, 39, whatever it took. <laughs> the game's calling off. Why? Because there's a death in the family. I'll explain to you later. <laughs> Let's see, fix it on the roof. Washing windows. Oh, okay. Get in there and clean the kids' room. <laughs> R.I.P. shirt. chance <laughs> but pretty soon it will be isn't enough you're out in the street trying to score an electric blanket or maybe a quilt and the next thing you know you're strung out on bedspreads ken <laughs> give it to me for a couple of days if it doesn't work you got the will be back please Our kids are way too strong-willed to just, like, Give rationalize. Yeah, just, we gotta go cold that. turkey and cut it off. Can I have a moment to myself, please? Oh, he's got a little cold. You had to do it. <laughs> yeah. It's normal for those, but it's terrifying. Fast noodles, huh? They're like a fried, crunchy noodle. Late night. <laughs> oh, Jacques. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm with everything. You really are. Thanks. Let's take this time to carry you upstairs and... Let you tell me all about it, but I think that might take too long. Mm. I'm gonna have another kid. <laughs> tuna, tuna. First, you gave away four glasses with every can of tuna. Now, as I recall, you were stuck with 60,000 of these, right? Hawaii. <laughs> now, who knew there was gonna be a hurricane that month? You were stuck with 100,000 of these flower lays. Oops. <laughs> this little girl. She's not just selling tuna, son, she's selling America. Right. The tuna with the heart. I love this bleeding heart. 
Kingdom. <laughs> give away the, the glasses too. Got to give away those those glasses also. What was the more? Don't know. It's gone. You know, if you were here, I was going to suggest you go as a ghost. Because even when you're here, you're not here. <laughs> Ouch. A good costume. <laughs> Who is it in the E.T. costume? Because it wasn't Joan. The other mom. The parking lady mom. Please, put your bum down there, honey. Okay? I know, but you... Ken, she here? She's way too young to potty train. <laughs> Every child potty trains at a different time. Yeah. Me up. I think I can get you back on at half salary. What are you talking about? You didn't say anything about half salary on the phone. Is it half time at half salary? <laughs> No, full time. Just half salary. Forget the paper. There we go. <laughs> Would you forget the paper? <laughs> Is he about to get his job back before that? Probably. I'm Howard Humphrey, president of Schooner Tuna. All of us here at Cut. Cut. Oh, Jesus. Tuner commercial, take 25. My fellow Americans. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Did he get it right that time, though? Definitely not. Uh, where are these ladies taking them? A strip club? Male strip club? A male strip club? <laughs> Yeah, a male strip club. <laughs> these aren't the same guys from the space shuttle, are they? Welcome <laughs> on back to you, me, and the banana hammocks. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies' night. Take this. I don't think I'm gonna need it. What is it? That dancer's telephone number. Sit with the kids. You knew where they were taking me, didn't you, Ned? <laughs> A milkshake in the tub. Interesting. Can be very, very quiet. What? Is this creepo doing? I really appreciate this very, very much. No, I'm quite sure you do. Deviled eggs or sushi? It's probably sushi, but what a creep. Alex, who? I don't know. Some guy. Is Carolyn Butler there? She's in the tub. Who is this? It's her husband. Who the hell is this? Who was that on my phone? Um. Not a what the f are you doing in my room? Ron, get out. I'm not kidding. Ron. Oh, don't be coy. Oh. oh, try to play hard to get, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, here we go. Hello? Okay. Oh, don't be there, I guess. <laughs> You probably want to be alone, huh? <laughs> hey, and don't worry. My lips are sealed. Another nap. Everybody's going to know. Uh, now, now, remember, this isn't strictest confidence. Of course. She's going right over there. Dad's making some minor changes. It's painful. <laughs> Green. I think I found your problem. What is it? The shoe. <laughs> I'm going to check your basement for bugs. I sure hope I don't find any. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's wrong with people? 
Docs would be okay. Can I eat Doc? It crack. <laughs> Jesus. M. I'm a free agent. M. M. <laughs> I could be in the middle of it. I could have a heart attack. Die. I Carolyn walks in, sees me there. She says, I die and get caught. <laughs> what are you doing in my bedroom? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh. Thanks. Look, he's offering me full salary and a company car. What do you think? You can take it. Okay, look, Bert, tell him I don't make a move without Larry and Stan. He doesn't make a move without Larry and Stan. Oh, you got a deal. You really hit him? <laughs> don't you think I know how to take care of myself? So who's getting the job? I guess he is. Those are really, like, easy forgiveness sort of situation, right? <laughs> schooner tuna. A tuna with a heart. You ever have schooner tuna? Never. The tuna with the heart. Missed out on it, dang it. Well, all right. All right, Mr. Mom. What'd you think about that? Uh, I didn't learn anything. That would help me in my daily Mr. Momming. That is accurate. Although he did try to do some things, he failed at them hard. <laughs> well, he, when he shaved and... Laundry, cleaning the kids' room. That was early in his job of Mr. Momming it. Uh, so he got he, it all together there at the end. I feel like... The only thing we witnessed him doing was washing one window outside yeah. and painting painting the fence. Yeah. But you've never done that, so <laughs> I guess he's got one up on you. What window do you want me to clean? <laughs> Which one of them? Point to it, and I'll <laughs> clean it. We, we got the fence guy here yesterday. That was today. Yeah. So there you go. Fence is getting fixed. Nice. All right. Well, what'd you think? It's cute. Yeah. It's just lighthearted, cute. cute so, uh, John Hughes wrote this from his own personal experience of oh, really? being a stay at home dad. <laughs> That's funny. So, probably in between writing scripts and stuff, right? Yeah, Trying probably. to make it in Hollywood before then. Said, uh, you know what? I'm going to write a script about what I'm doing right now. Momming. As a dad. Right? Cool. So, uh, what was uh, the funniest part for you? I did enjoy the butt dry the butt dry in the public restroom yeah Yeah. got a new seems like a very dad thing to do right like next time time we need to do it i'm definitely doing it there you go so i like the chainsaw bit yeah when he came in when the boss showed up and ron showed up at the house i think my favorite part about that bit was that his overalls were not on correctly at all like the strap was like in the middle (laughs) and it's unhooked on the side like he just jumped into yeah, them. He, just, he yeah. probably did. Grab, jumped the, jumped in the overalls and grabbed the chainsaw and walked in. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, that was funny. Just didn't make a Mr. Mom too. Sure. Yeah. One of those I feel like they did. It's sequels. called Daddy Daycare. Daddy right? Daycare. Yeah, I guess that's probably <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. Right? Yeah. Except for that's probably like a whole daycare worth of kids, not just yes, one family worth. It of kids. is that. Yeah, that so. is accurate. Yeah. Well, what do you got to say to Christy and Patrick today? Thanks for a fun one. I mean, you guys have been nailing the fun ones recently, so yeah. thank you for that. And thank you for the shout out for all the stay at home mom and, moms and dads out there. Yes, even if they don't do laundry or dishes, we still appreciate them. I feel personally attacked right now. <laughs> Good. It was a personal attack. <laughs> All right, well, what should people comment on after that? Favorite part, favorite scene or favorite moment in Mr. Mom. What's the best part of Mr. Mom for you? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Mr. Mom. Come back next time. Yeah, if you want to make your own special requests like Christy and Patrick, check out our Patreon link down below. You also get full-length commentaries, access to polls to help help us pick what we watch next. That's right. And early access. Check it out. Links down below. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.